like I said, it was my turn to get my daughter. Well, she didn't bring my daughter, like the diapers, the clothes and stuff, was no, none of that was there, you know what I'm saying? So I asked her, could she go get it? She didn't want to. Okay, so she didn't bring it to your house at all? No. You mean clothes? Clothes, and diapers, diapers, all that. And that was my issue. I was like, oh, well, I don't have none of this here, so I can't keep it tonight. Either you can go home and get it, or you can just bring her tomorrow with the stuff. That was a problem. What was the problem? Either leaving her without the stuff or going? I guess she didn't want to take my daughter back with her. Like, because it's my week, I guess she thought I was trying to push my daughter off on her for the week. Not, not the case at all. Never have a problem. I kept my daughter anyway that night. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we argued. I put my daughter back in the car because, like I said, I didn't have the supplies for her. Just a minute. So you were taking your daughter out of the car? Yeah. I, when, when they pulled up, I was taking my daughter. I thought we were going to, I didn't know we were going to argue. I thought we were going to go in the house. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have a little good time. So you that. took your daughter out of the car mm -hmm. and you were holding her in your arms. Yeah. And then you had this discussion about where's her clothes. Yeah. And she said, I don't have the clothes. So then you said you put your daughter back in her car. Yes. Well, that was the suggestion then that she was going to be going home with her mother. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then what happened? Uh, that transferred into a whole little problem because, like I said, she thought I was trying to push her off on her son. We arguing while my daughter's in the car. I noticed that I had left my tablet in the back seat that my daughter was watching. That's when I tried to go back around to the door to get my tablet. She locked the doors. The back windows were down from where I was driving. I started reaching through the back window to try to get my tablet. She rolled up the window on me and started bagging back with me hanging out the window. Got up, she stopped, I got out, uh, and never got my tablet. And meanwhile, this is all happening in front of the three-year-old. Yes. Did you ever get your tablet? I wound up getting it either the next day or the day after that because I told her I called the police on her. Okay, so she drove off with the tablet. Yes, ma'am. Go. Okay, so he his family invited us to a barbecue. We're past okay, the barbecue. Okay, so we, before we even left to the barbecue, the reason why he drove our daughter home, because he had an attitude. I don't know why he had an attitude, but you can just sense he did. So that's why I rode with my brother back to his house, to his mother's house, to continue the barbecue, because the, the food wasn't done yet. Because we got kicked out the park, because the park closed at 10. So we got get to his house. Me and my brother pulled up first. So they pulled up, and we all got out the car. He came back up front and I asked, my daughter was asking for juice. And I said, do you, she was asking, do they have any juice in the house? And he ignored me. I asked him again. And he said, no, we don't. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll leave the baby with you. I'll go up to this grocery store real quick, get her some juice so she can have some for her food. He was sitting there on the porch smoking a cigarette and out of literally, out of nowhere, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm like, okay. Like he just start going off, start calling me out I'm of my name. I'm not doing what anymore? I don't, I don't know. Okay. He just, he literally out the blue, he was sitting there smoking a cigarette. You can tell on his face he was thinking about something so like i said he just out of nowhere said i can't do this anymore and started going off i'm like okay whatever so i went to my car i'm in my car i'm trying to pull off he put his arm in my car and tried to take the keys out the ignition so in the event of doing Did that he, he say my ipad is in the car or my no, tablet he didn't say just uh, a second okay was it? It was. It was. It was. So, yeah, I did find it because it was dark. It was It was late. It was about 10, 11 o'clock when this happened. Okay, so, so I didn't see the tablet. So I guess he left the tablet in my car when he was driving. I didn't take it from him. But he was trying to take the keys on my ignition. And he's sitting there just yelling at me saying, and just call me out of my name. So when he was doing all that, he locked the steering wheel. So my brother was trying to tell him to move so he can fix the steering wheel so I can leave. So in the event of him trying to, like I'm trying to get out, he keeps closing the thing like this to keep trying, like keeps closing the door so I can't get out the car. And my brother's telling him to move. He wouldn't move. So finally, he went in the house. My brother fixed the steering wheel. And it was just in, this, in uh, neutral. So he fixed the steering wheel. So I'm leaving. The baby, she's crying to stay with her dad. So I'm like, okay, you can stay with your dad. 